of the day to you all. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on where you are, brother. Ah, we're well, here again. Every day that we keep hearing news from Nigeria, you are sad. You know? You know, last week, we heard that the certain governors has come together and they have agreed on the certain things. First of all, a total ban on carrying the cattle's husbandry in the street in the certain part of Nigeria. This was specifically directed to the Fulanese. This is in a way to try and improve security because a lot of havoc, crime, kidnapping is going on in the bushes where the Fulanese are supposed to be staying with their cattle. And in most cases, this kidnapping, theft, has been alleged to be carried out by the Fulanese. So that was one of the reasons why the certain governors came together. We applaud them. It was a good thing. They also went further to say that Nigeria needs to be restructured. A lot of people are happy. A lot of people are very happy. They say, yes, Nigeria needs to be restructured. We need to have our road plan. We need to see to plan how this country needs to be governed. But I personally was not happy. I will tell you why I am not happy. Let us go back to the history of Nigeria. We cannot go back to the very beginning, but let's go back to when we have the Royal Niger Company in the beginning of the 19th century, which is 1800. The Royal Niger Company was there as a chartered and limited company. She was involved in trade. And the region that she was was below Niger and Benue rivers. If you know the map of Nigeria where, their own area was below the river Niger and the Benue river down to the Niger Delta. That was their area. So this company was very rich. But it got to a stage that the British was in charge of the northern part of Nigeria. The British was in the charge of the northern part of Nigeria. They own the northern part of Nigeria. Why the Niger, the Royal Niger Company controls the Southern Protectorate. So what happened? Somewhere along the line, the Royal Niger Company sold the Southern Protectorate to the British. How much? 865,000 pounds then. And if we want to convert the money today, we will say 108 million pounds. That was what the Royal Niger Company sold Nigeria. I repeat, 108 million pounds. So now, British now owns the North and the South. So what do they do? They now wanted to join the two together for administrative purposes. And the man in charge was Lord Logai. He was the man 
who was put in charge. We talk about the 1914 amalgamation. That is the journey together of the North and the South. So, quickly, this one that the Houses are saying, or the Fulanese are saying, that the British gave them Nigeria, it's pure lie. The northern part was a colony of the British. British was ruling over the northern part. They now bought the southern part. So they cannot give you the southern part because you were under the British. So we begin to fight for independence. The southern part was divided into two the eastern and the western. They begin to fight for independence. The north did not fight for independence. They had, they were comfortable, you know, they were okay. It was this east and west region that fought for independence. So when it got to a stage that the British was ready to let go, Azikiwe now told the Westerners, say, it is not good that we we'll just fight alone. Since this country has been joined together as one, we should all fight together to get independent. That was how Zeke dragged the northern part into the independent race. At the end of the day, we got independent as an entity, as a country, as Nigeria. Okay. Even Zeke made a mistake because the British deceived him. He was the ceremonial head. He was the ceremonial head, just like how the queen is. The man that is really that is really ruling British now is Boris Johnson, not the Queen. The Queen is just a ceremonial head. That was exactly what they did to Zeke. Tafawa Balewa was the ruling man ruling. And if you look at the election that was conducted, the northern region came toward. It was Zeke that has the highest number while the West followed. The West was supposed to have an accord with Zeke, but we don't really know what happened. Why Zeke decided to leave the West and decided to go with the North. We don't really know. He is not alive today to let us know. Well, some people say that's the first mistake that was made. So, to correct this mistake, because the North came in and they were assigning all the powers to their own citizens, to their own people, a kind of a self-centered government. That was how Ojuku came up and said, no, we have to do a restructuring. This led to the Abure Accord. The Abure Accord is to restructure Nigeria. Gowan agreed at first. It was later when he got, because Abure is in Ghana. They traveled to Ghana where they had a meeting for two days. That was in January 1967. The meeting was January 4th and 5th. An accord was reached. But when Gowan got back to his seat of power, we don't know who told him, are you going to let the East have their own power? That means we are finished. 
It was then Gowan now said no, that he did not agree for restructuring. That is why I take you back. The governors, the 17 governors in the south have met and have said, we have to restructure Nigeria. Exactly where Ojuku was, we go on. The question is, would the North agree? And if the North says no, what will the governors do? Which means we will go back to the Plan B, that is the Ododua Republic, and the Brafa Republic. So, I don't want to take, or I don't want to have my conclusion here. Since they want to go ahead and try and see if an accord could be reached and agree, let us see. But my governors, I want you guys to have plan B in case the Northerners did not agree for restructuring. You should have a plan B. What do you do? That is the question I'm leaving for you. So I want my fans out there to please share this video. Let it get to the hands of the members of governors in Nigeria, especially in the certain parts. Those governors. Try as much as possible to share this video. I want it to get to their hands. If they did not accept your restructuring, do you have a plan B? That's the question. Anyway, this is Ini TV. If you're now on the Mafidon Idusogi TV, we are global and social commentators. So please, if you like our video, subscribe. Thank you very much. We will catch you on the next video, as we used to say in this channel. Stay safe, stay blessed.